in European homes, especially um, medieval homes, castles, grand country houses, they often incorporated uh, a gatehouse or a portcullis through the castle wall. And this is a kind of outdoor space, th effectively through a building, that's part of the building behind. The uh, portcullis is the lobby for the combined compound. But what it does enable is for people to come and go through the complex without disturbing one another. Well, the vision here was to have a flexible home that not only accommodated a family, but, but family and friends, or even acquaintances could come and go and all use the house independently. So we devised almost a barn-like street frontage house with a portcullis going through the middle of it to a rear stone house, the main house, sitting on the other side of a courtyard. Uh, so the property is set in Millbrook Resort, which is near Arrowtown in the beautiful central Otago in the South Island of New Zealand. It's amongst a mountain range, which offers lots of outdoor sporting activities. Millbrook was a station that bordered the uh, western edge of the town. A few years ago, it was subdivided into housing in a kind of rural manner. It's often a challenge to work within quite strict covenants and design controls, but in this case, it was really helpful for us to go back to the original conceptual nature of those covenants and treat them as an opportunity rather than a constraint. And in this case, this general desire to keep the rural feel of the original station. It's strange, isn't it? Within constraints can sometimes be tremendous freedom. It's the apertures that do most of the, of the work because you can look through from one house through the other to framed views, through large rectangular, almost like painting frames at different mountains and different lights during the day. These apertures have glass that can be slid right into the stone wall, so in summer, the house almost turns into an arcade in the heat, with each view framed. So this staircase constructed of white oak with concealed structure, anchoring back to the stone walls around it. And it's a kind of look no hands staircase. The centre pole in the spiral has been removed, so the treads appear to float, cantilevering out of the wall kind of magically and its handrail is just a simple ribbon of charcoal steel. The whole sequence of the stair ties intrinsically into the house, right through to the house, it's almost medieval roots where these stairs were extremely common. So I was working initially with the schist and the timber of the architecture. They're quite key, strong elements. I wanted to connect the two. So the flooring was the natural place for that. So I turned to this, the brick of the flooring. It added a warmth to the interior. I think it was important to feel welcoming. And it was the use of materials, you know, that invited people in. And a, and a sense of, I guess, coming home and, and comfort but still keeping a freshness and, and contemporary feel about the space. This kitchen space functions really well as an entertainment space. It's natural that people gather around a kitchen island when guests are in residence. I chose the minimal range from Fisher & Paykel that is very simple in its aesthetic and it just sat seamlessly within the space. That enabled us to um, do away with any need for over cupboards and in keeping with our vision for a, a very minimal look. We also have a small kitchenette within the guest house, so that can function completely separately. So if guests are staying within and the main house isn't occupied, they're completely independent with a small cooktop, refrigeration, dishwasher, etc. We've also incorporated a DCS grill in the outdoor courtyard and it acts as a gathering place to bring people together. Also within the main house, we've incorporated a second laundry, which is effectively a cupboard, but there was consideration that stepping outside to the main laundry in the winter months might not be appealing. So we use the Fisher & Paykel washer dryer 
that just tucks into the cupboard. There's a few things I love about this property. One is the spectacular backdrop and that view from the living space up into the mountains. But there's also the connectivity that sort of screams family to me and the two buildings linking with the communal space and you know the ability to accommodate and feel warm and comforting and inviting I think is um, quite special. We wanted this house to have a soul and, and it's very hard to get a, a you know a brand new house having a soul. Normally a soul is imparted by the human activity over, over years. I think what we're pleased with is this house seems to have that kind of warmth starting to glow immediately. That's really heartening and satisfying.